Stop What You're Doing, Sabertoothed Kitten. Last week saw the publication of the first ever fleshed remains, so not just bone, there is fur and skin and muscle on this specimen, of an extinct Ice Age saber-toothed cat, and it totally rocked the paleontology world. The saber-toothed cat that you probably know best is Smilodon, like Diego from the Ice Age movies, and this is a different saber-toothed cat called Homotherium, which I think I can best describe as, like, long Smilodon. They were about the same height, but Homotherium was leggy, like, maybe it would have been doing more running around when it was alive. Not this homotherium, though. This one has been three weeks old for 35,000 years. And because it's not just bone, this specimen is carrying so much information that we wouldn't otherwise have had. First of all, it has toe beans, just like your cat. Except actually not just like your cat, because these feet are super wide and they don't have a carpal pad. Both of these things the authors interpreted as adaptations for living in a cold, snowy environment. It's also brown, which is not a huge surprise. That's the default. Mammals are either brown or weird, but still good to confirm. Even though this animal died when it was just a baby, it already had a super muscular neck, which confirms what we already thought we knew about these saber-toothed cats being adapted for taking down very large prey. Perhaps most interestingly for its implications for our paleo art going forward, it has these tufties of fur in the place where those famous saber teeth would have grown in if it had lived long enough to grow them in. Which brings me back to that sobering moment that I think most most of us had upon reading this paper, the realization that this incredible scientific story did begin with the death of a cute fuzzy baby that probably did have siblings that did get to grow up and have their teeth grow in, and they did get to run and hunt and do all of the things that their species was adapted for doing in life. But there is bittersweet comfort in the knowledge that through scientific research and paleo art, this little guy will live an afterlife much longer and richer than the life it never got to live.